so here we will be presenting to you the uh, all about or some of the uh, more important points about Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering or BSECE. Now this was formerly uh, called Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communications Engineering. So what is BSECE? It is a four-year program mainly concerned with the conceptualization, design, and development of any electronic, computer, or communication systems, products, services, and processes. The ECE program or the ECE, the Electronics Engineering degree, produces engineers with holistic understanding in the mathematical and scientific basis and practical theory of electronics, particularly in preparation for the fields of the following. Semiconductor and manufacturing, industrial electronics, robotics, systems analysis, instrumentation and controls engineering, integrated circuit analysis or IC analysis, design and layout, telecommunications, radio and television broadcasting, electronic navigations, and the software and hardware fields of computer system, information and communication technology and engineering. This degree aims to train graduates to meet the needs of companies and institutions in the diverse sectors of highly qualified personnel in design and technological development in the field of electronics. It also provides a solid foundation, both physically and the electronic principles and mathematics required, or those are required disciplines with a future that goes beyond what we can imagine. The BSECE is a four-year baccalaureate degree in the College of Technology here in the University of San Agustin. Instrumentation and control happens to be the specialized track in which the BSECE program uh, um, is uh, undertaking. What is instrumentation and control? It is a track that specializes in the area of art artificial intelligence or AI, robotics, and industrial automation. ECE is an interesting field, challenging, enriching, and rewarding at the same time. The idea of creating electronic devices and systems with applications such as phones, computers, transmission towers, and satellites tenders the need of electronics engineering. The major reasons to study ECE are good graduate prospects in the industry, as it will encompass the field of electronics engineering, communications engineering, computer engineering, and information and communication technology. They have high starting salaries, global opportunities, always in demand because of technology attachment, a core in helping people and being at the forefront of future technologies. What are the, or the electronics engineering degree program produces engineers having holistic understanding in the mathematical and scientific basis, greater depth and breadth of knowledge of electronics particularly in preparation for the following fields or these areas in which an electronics engineer can put his practice after graduation or upon uh, his professional uh, career. It can be in the field of communications, such as telecommunications, microwave towers or microwave communication towers, satellite dish, where in these are equipments or um, devices being used primarily in the field of telecommunications used by uh, almost everyone in the whole world. 
we kick he or she or an easy graduate can also proceed or make his career in the field of radio and television broadcasting and other communications engineering technologies. He can work, for instance, in a television station, an AM or an FM station, like this GMA or TV5 or some other more popular TV stations. He can also have the option to proceed or to go into the field of industrial electronics and instrumentation or robotics. This is one of the major fields in which an ECE can excel. He can also work in a semiconductor applications and manufacturing company or in the systems analysis uh, business, producing microchips or integrated circuits that are commonly available or commonly used in almost all electronic equipments or components that we are using nowadays. He can also go into the field of integrated circuit analysis, design and layout. There are ECEs or electronic engineering graduates who have worked before for Intel and some other uh, more popular uh, companies. And in the field of electronic navigations, we're in electronic engineers can be found in uh, the avionics or the aircraft industry, or they can work also as electrotechnical officer. A lot of electronic engineers are now working on onboard um, foreign going vessels working as electrotechnical officers. And he or she can also go into the field of biomedical electronics as being shown on this um, diagram or picture that we have. And once a student decides to take up electronics engineering here in the College of Technology, we have the um, benefit or the privilege of having this a company named Amcor Technology as one of our industry partners. We're in, we're in, we have a, uh, we have a uh, an agreement, a common agreement between the company and the academy or the University of San Agustin. We're in, we have, they have the option or we have the option to send in our graduates for training, as apprentice engineers and possible employment after graduation. And Amcor Technology is, we all know, one of the more popular uh, semiconductor companies here in the Philippines and in the world. The program or the BSEC program also encourages the complementary pursuits of learning and practice reflections and actions along with a sense of perspective, adaptation and transcendence. The skills that best describes these values incorporate intuition, critical thinking and problem solving, as well as abilities with spoken, written, graphic and spatial media. Once again, one of the skills that are needed to take up or to be successful in taking up electronics engineering are intuition, critical thinking, and problem solving skills. And of course, spoken, written, graphic, and spatial uh, communications abilities. Within five years after graduation, the graduates of the electronics engineering program shall have developed the following. Technical proficiency, that is the skill that are developing technical skills through building up, up fundamental knowledge in analysis, design and development within the electronics engineering field and its allied discipline. 
you must also be able to develop the professional or have their own professional growth. That is through continuous exercise of graduate lifelong capabilities for technical and non-technical skills through graduate school programs and trainings. And finally, they will be able to develop this management skills. That is, graduates develop communication skills and professional ethics and refine the skills and knowledge for management capability and growth. Electronics engineering or ECE is an interesting field, challenging, enriching and rewarding at the same time. So what are the major reasons to study ECE? ECE are good prospects in the industry. Oh, uh, this slide has been uh, mentioned before as it encompasses the field of electronics, engineering, communications, computer and information and communications technology or ICT. So these are the benefits that awaits our ECE graduates no? once they go into this field. And finally, we have to... Uh, our faculty that awaits you here in the College of Technology in the Detroit Engineering Department. We have the rose among thorns, the only rose among thorns rather, we have engineer Sara Villa. She is a graduate of the University of San Agustin, uh, an alumna of the BSECE or the Detroit Engineering uh, Program from the University of San Agustin. She's also a holder of the Master of Engineering at the Western Institute of Technology. Of course, she is a registered electronics engineer. And one of her, uh, her specialty is in the field of semiconductor manufacturing, wherein she worked as a quality assurance engineer in Taiwan before coming over to handle her teaching uh, responsibilities, responsibilities here in the university. We also have Engineer Reynaldo Ramos as the academic supervisor. He is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering at Fiat University, a Master of Engineering graduate from the Western Institute of Technology. He is a registered professional electronics engineer and an engineering consultant in the field of electronics. We also have Engineer Gerald Luis Poblador a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering at the University of St. La Salva, Colon. A graduate of Master's of Business Administration at the La Salle University. And um, currently in the finishing stage of finishing his Master of Industrial Technology, also at the La Salle University. He is a registered electronics engineer and an electronics consultant for um, Philips lights um, for Philips lighting. And one thing that was not written here is that he is also about to finish his master or doctorate in business administration also at the De La Salle University. And he is currently on a scholarship grant at Yale University in the United States. That is Engineer Gerald Luis Poblador. And finally, we have Engineer Edgar Altarejas Jr., a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Electronics and Communications Engineering at the Mapua Institute of Technology. He is also a master or holder of the master's degree in Electronics Engineering or MSECE at the De La Salle University, a registered electronics engineer and a consultant in solar power system technology. It's currently based in New Zealand. Engineer Edgar Altarejos. So finally, before we end, we would like to, on behalf of the College of Technology and of the, uh, of the University of San Agustin, we would like to invite you, this is a way of inviting you to come and join us the College of Technology, particularly in the Electronics Engineering Department, to be able for you to 
start a good career in the field of electronics engineering. Thank you and good morning.